Hi there, everybody. It's that time of year. We can head out to the farm stand and get some great local produce. We're joined by Diane Souther from Apple Hill Farm up in Concord. No doubt you've been very busy this time of year. Oh, we have. We have. We've just stopped doing strawberries, even though we still have a few we're picking, but we're yeah. into blueberries, raspberries, and black currants now. Oh, all sound good to me. Oh, and it's great. We're going to do a quick freezer jam, Okay. which you can use freezer all three jam. of those berries. Gotcha. So if you've got some strawberries left over in the freezer, you mm -hmm. can use those, or you can still find a few strawberries out there at some of the farms, depending on what varieties they have. Have. Yeah. So it calls for first, you take a saucepan, medium size, with a cup of water, okay. three cups of sugar, and then a package of this low sugar pectin, which is a little bit different because usually a batch of jam calls for like seven cups of sugar. This wow. one only calls for three. Okay. And we're not really going to cook the fruit. We're going to take this saucepan with those three items, a cup of water, three cups of sugar, and the shore gel, and we're going to simmer it over medium heat for one minute, really? bring it to a boil. Okay. So you can kind of set that aside, turn the heat off, and then you can get the fruit ready. So this is something the kids can help you with. We're going to start with five cups of strawberries, oh and I've goodness. taken the caps off. Those look good. Yep. Slice them up a little bit. We've got two and a half cups of fresh raspberries that you can pick right now because it's the season for them. Raspberries are in. Two, Got it. Okay. Two and a half cups of blueberries. Okay. And blueberries will keep on going for another few weeks. Blueberries oh, nice. are one yeah. of our longest crops, which is great. So you put those in a large bowl or, or a pan like this that you can get in there and mush around. And it's great because the kids can help you on this. So we're going to take that pectin and sugar mixture that we've already cooked up. Okay. And we're just going to pour it in. And you just kind of pour it right in. And then you take a masher. Okay. We're Remember the old potato mashers? Oh, sure. Okay. And we're you just start going. Yet. And this is where the kids can come in and help out. <laughs> you just keep on going until it's all blended. By, re by mashing up the fruit a little bit, it releases the pectins that are naturally in the fruit. Okay. And it will help it jam up. And you're not going to cook this. All no you're going to do is no this. No cooking at all. Just That's do that it. way. Don't yeah. use your feet either. Use the masher. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So you can continue doing this until it's all blended together and it mm -hmm. looks nice and smooth. And like I said, it's a great job for the kids to do. <laughs> and then we're going to take some containers. Now, if you use glass containers, make sure you sterilize them because you can use the ones that you used last year for Got jam. It. Sterilize Or you can use plastic ones. Just make sure they're nice and clean and washed out. We let this set in the bowl overnight for about 24 hours. In the morning, you can put it in the containers, leave a half an inch headspace in the top, pop the caps on, and put them right in the freezer. No kidding, now, okay. if you don't want to freeze them because your kids are going to eat them right up, yep. just put it in the refrigerator and it will last up to three weeks in the refrigerator. Well, that's a good amount of time. Okay, three weeks. Get yep. Fresh jam right there. Yep, so, so easy to do. It is very easy and it's very okay. delicious because you don't cook the fruit so the flavor stays there and it tastes just like you just picked it from the garden. Okay. And if you are using berries, just make sure they're clean because you're not cooking them. And real quick, uh, the farm. Give me some information on yep. that. Yeah, 580 Mountain Road in Concord. We have a Facebook page or website at applehillfarmnh.com. Lots of stuff is coming in right now. Check it out. All right, Diane, thank you very much. That does it for us.